Hi, this is Jen Phillips April with jenphillipsapril.com of Right Words Marketing, and I made a quick video for you on embedding Mailchimp forms into InstaBuilder landing page. And I'm doing this video because I spent the better part of three days trying to figure this out, and I want to save anyone else the hassle of that factor. Um, so it was a real pain in the neck and not very easy. So this is for non-coders, um, and and we're going to embed a form into InstaBuilder. If you're not familiar with InstaBuilder, this is not going to be for you. But InstaBuilder is, uh, is has a landing page software and it integrates with your WordPress. That's a whole other uh, <laughs> whole other question. Uh, so let's go into our Mailchimp. Um, you're going to see you're under lists, and you're going to choose the list that you want to go to. I have multiple lists. You probably do too. And you're going to skip the general forms. You want to go to the embedded forms because you're generating the HTML code to embed in your site, right? And that's what you're going to need. So just click on here. And you don't need to really worry about what it looks like. I spent a lot of time trying to customize this without knowing any code, not knowing much code, um, because I didn't want to say subscribe and didn't want to have this. Don't worry about it. Just go ahead and... Uh, cut and paste that uh, embed code because it turns out you can change it over on the Insta page, um, the Insta Builder rather. So then you go over to Insta Builder. So I've created um, I've created my uh, squeeze page, right? And then I have this funky little uh, series of of boxes that just I think are supposed to have actual images in them. But if you go down, you'll see one that says opt-in form. Yours may have an, um, like an envelope on them. I have seen that in other screen grabs. Uh, so click on that and actually drag it over. If you're like me, you don't want to watch a bunch of videos before you get started on something. And I kind of dive in and then it takes me a long time sometimes to figure something out. Um, but that's kind of how I learned. So now you're, so you can see how I've du it's duplicated. But that's okay. So go with that for now, and now you want you want to change it up, right? You want to you want to get rid of the subscribe because that doesn't make any sense if you're giving away a free report, which is what I'm doing here. So you're going to want to actually click on this box, which hi it gives you these funny little different colored boxes down below, and the red one means you're going to delete it. This is to uh, these yellow ones will move it left or right, um, but you're pretty much stuck with where it is right now unless you do a totally different template. But if you click that box, that blue box here, that's going to open up this opt-in settings thing. And this is hugely important. This is what I couldn't find before. I didn't find it in the tutorials. I emailed help. I mean, I was just not getting uh, very far with this. So click on here and then paste that code in. So you paste your code in here and then you process it. You click that. Okay. You're also going to be able to change things like you can change your form button. So it doesn't say subscribe but instead it says yes I want my copy or whatever you want it to say. Um, actually you're not going to change it there. You're going to change it under form fields. So if you go under form fields and that's where you're going to be able to change your it's not where I'm seeing it now. But you can um, make it, you can change the size of the, uh, the button if you want to. You can change the color, the background. Oh, edit button. There we go. So if you go to the edit button, okay, and that was underneath the button text, then now you can change the button text. So you can change it whatever you want it to say. You know, yes, I want my copy. You can change the sizing. You can change the font. Okay, that is how you do it. So it's actually really quick and easy after, you know, you spend 37 hours figuring it out. <laughs> so hopefully this will save you that uh, problem. And you can, you know, you can actually hide the panel and or but but you just go up to the top here it's, I think it's this box to bring over oh no we're gonna save it that's okay I can and then you can delete um, whatever you don't want so if you decide you don't want this then you can delete it and go back to the way you had it before okay so that's how you embed a MailChimp form into your InstaBuilder um, landing page for your website hope that helps thanks